Hello everyone and welcome back to Informatics Talk. Today we are going to talk about all the things you must know about the new Pfizer vaccine. The US Drug and Food Administration approved emergency use of Pfizer vaccine for adolescents aged between 12 and 15. Then, in a new release posted on its website, the FDA determined that the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has met the statutory criteria to amend the emergency use authorization EUA which was originally issued on 11 December 2020 and that the known and potential benefits of this vaccine in individuals 12 years of age and older outweigh the known and potential risks acting FDA commissioner Janet Woodcock said today's action allows for a younger population to be protected from covid-19 bringing us closer and returning a sense of normalcy and to ending the pandemic what are the ingredients in the Pfizer BioNTech covid-19 vaccine the ingredients are mrna lipids potassium chloride monobasic potassium phosphate sodium chloride dibasic sodium phosphate dihydrate and sucrose how does an mrna vaccine work mrna delivered to the body cells by lipid nanoparticles instructs the cell to generate the spike protein found on the surface of the novel coronavirus that initiates infection instructing cells to generate the spike protein spurs an immune response including generation of antibodies specific to the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein mrna vaccines do not contain any virus particles meaning that they don't contain weakened or dead parts of a virus or bacterium What are the side effects of Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine? There is a remote chance that Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine could cause a severe allergic reaction. A severe allergic reaction would usually occur within a few minutes to 1 hour after getting a dose of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. Signs of severe allergic reaction can include difficulty in breathing, swelling of face and throat, a fast heartbeat, rash all over your body, dizziness and weakness side effects reported include injection site pain tiredness headache muscle pain chills joint pain fever injection site swelling injection site redness nausea feeling unwell swollen lymph nodes vomiting etc hope this information would help you guys get educated about the new Pfizer vaccine meet you guys in the next video like share and subscribe to informatics story thank you